Another one has been outside. Look at that awning, that's cool. So the awning looks to me nice, isn't it? How are they gonna reach it way there? I guess I got a manual crank, you can crank these things up too if you yeah. see if you have a problem with it. I never have a Pretty well. Don't come down a whole lot further though. I mean, it can, but I mean, you won't step out. Actually, you don't want to bring it down any further. Yeah, you can come down a little bit further. Big tail lights on it. What's that? Big lights on the back. It looks like a big tail light on it. Pretty good size. Right? This slides in like that one. I think it's easy on me, right? I might have a freezer in it. Oh, there's a little board. Uh, there's a, look, look at this. Huh? Look at that. It's a good place to store. Oh, you have to be. <laughs> yeah, it's all perfect. Stand up there. there. I have to be. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, it's got cool. like a little flip thing. Little bottles and stuff. Yeah. Oh, the one. That is cold. Nice freezer. Huh? Yeah, it is. It's got a freezer too. I was going to ice cream now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's all the gauges right there. Right here, comes out of like this, and it steps in there like that. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll show you how this only comes out after I get everything. Okay. Yeah. Right here. Oh, one ten outlet right there. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's sitting in the truck, you can't get to this, can you? If it's sitting in the truck, can you show you that? Yeah, okay, cool. This is the back part of your refrigerator. Okay. Well, all components just for have to work on when you get to it. Okay. So you don't have to turn it, it on from any time out here? Like if it runs on LP, you don't have to come out here and start no, it's it? all done from inside. Button up oh, top cool. of the two tanks, look. <laughs> okay, you have yeah. two 20-pound uh, oh, two two yeah. two tanks of propane. Oh. And... Uh, you can switch from this tank to this tank by turning that over. Is there a way that thing's pointing to switch tank? Yep, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, gosh. Bring it straight up, you, you run it off both tanks. Okay, cool. What would be the reason to run off both of them? Do you ever need to do that? Well, uh, not really. Not really. Yeah. Some people yeah. want to run off both tanks. Really? Others just... If you, have, if you run out, then you can go get a long full and keep that one still running? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do that? Okay. These are just hand tight, so just... Uh, and tight them, don't, don't match them, you'll break them. Okay. Can you add to them while they're half full? Or yeah. You know yeah, you can break them. Yeah, but they have to be taken to get filled. Yeah, you got to sit, you got them sitting they're, out, you can't do it. They got to be standing up to be filled. Oh, yeah. How hard is that? I need that. What you got to do is take this zero right off here. This lifts off on the hook of your hoses. This strap right here hooks up here. Your regulator. Oh, hold that up better. Out of your way. Out of your way, so you That's get your nice. time That's smart. Yeah. That's cool, that won't be too bad at all. No, I think they ever go thing, huh? Yep. At least they try. <laughs> yeah, that you get another satellite here, you got one in the back, you got one on the other side, which is controlled from inside. Cool. That's why, when uh, I turn yeah. that light on, that's why you didn't see anything. Yeah. Uh, you got docking lights up here, too. Okay. When you're hooked up to your vehicle and you're backing up, your backup lights come on and your docking lights. Oh, they come on automatically when you're backing up? Oh, you're backing cool. up, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they give more light. Yeah, so that's back. cool. Then you got a switch inside there if you want docking lights. Yeah, we've seen that. We found that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Inside. Inside, you got a crank for these two jacks. Okay. These are automatic. But. If something happens, you know, have no juice in your battery. Right. Uh, you put that crank in here. Crank them up, right? Them. You have to unplug these your wires first. Okay. Before you can crank them. All right. Okay. Yeah. Definitely got to keep the batteries charged then. Yeah. We've been through that yeah. part. <laughs> this uh, hooks up to your vehicle for your run lights. Okay. And while you're plugged into your truck, yeah. your owner is charging the battery up. Okay. Well, you plugged in electric, you got a built-in charger in there. 
Is it the same thing if I was to plug this into my truck? Would I need to unplug that first, or is it no, switch? No, no, no. It does what I'm switch switch off all yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then uh, this wire right here, we usually want to get ready to hook up. This opens up here. We stick the wire in here. Get out of your way. And then it plugs right into your truck oh. from inside. All plugs from inside? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. We'll show you more about that one. Okay. So you have to ride with that open? No. We just open that up so we plug it in and close the door. Okay. We'll show you more about that one. Oh. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. You can get through the wire, man. Yep. Get inside the truck. Right you can get through it. Let's see it. Okay, right here is a uh, fresh water tank. Okay. <clears throat> you can fill it right there. If you're someplace don't have water, you, you can bring some with right you, huh? Okay. okay. You got 12 volt water pump inside. Pumps water through the system. How many have to clean those tanks? <laughs> They get rinsed out every year when you put the antifreeze in it or something? Well, you don't put antifreeze in it. Oh, you don't put antifreeze in fresh water? No, uh -uh. But you can flush them out every, every, every year. Okay. I usually, in my motor home, I uh, usually uh, use baking soda. Oh, yeah? And uh, dilute it with water and everything. And fl let it flush around a little bit and then, then I drain it. And I flush the tank out some more. Yeah, okay. We do that once a year. So. That's cool. So I use your hot water heater here. Oh, okay, I got that. You got a drain valve right there. Hot water? Yeah. Okay. It drains your hot water heater. Uh huh. When you get ready to winterize it, you got a bypass on your hot water heater, okay. which is inside. And all you'll do is put it on bypass, pull this plug out. Okay. You don't have to put it in the freeze to your hot water heater. Right here. Okay. Uh, if you do, it's going to take eight gallon antifreeze. Okay. Six to fill this, plus two more to winterize. Oh, wow. So you just drain everything down, you're all right. Drain this down, and then uh, put the bypass on. Okay. And the antifreeze will go through your hot water. Do you have to drain this fresh water tank too? Uh, yeah. You drain that too? Just okay. drain back here, I'll show you where oh, it okay. is. Um, this is just temperature control right here. Uh, okay. It's a relief valve. When you go to light it, it's just button up right here. Okay. It's parking now. It's on, on pilot right here. Hold oh. it on pilot. Throw she lights down. I can see it, okay. What's that? I can see it. It's a flame out. Okay. And once she's lit, oh, there. put it on there like that, on, on. Okay. okay. I don't want to leave it on because. Might not be no water in it. Might not be no water. I didn't <laughs> work on this one, so I don't know. Okay. When you're not using this hot water here, make sure that switch is off. off and it won't light it by itself. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just leave it on all the time? Or it, why, it are you, click you, you, why, why are you using your hot water heater? Yeah. Just leave that switch on. Okay. When you get ready to leave the camp, I don't know where you're at. Just cut her off. Shut her off. Okay. Okay. You don't want to run this while you're traveling. Okay. You don't want to run your heater while you're traveling. Okay. You can run your refrigerator on gas when you're traveling. But if you run your refrigerator on gas while you're traveling, and you come up to a gas station, shut it off. Or a tunnel or something like that? Well, a tunnel, I don't think, it, I don't think they give you any problem with that. Really? But when you come up to a gas station, you want to shut it off. Shut it off. You got a flame out there, the fumes right. from the pumps. Oh, I got you. Go to it. Shut, what, shut everything off this and, and the, the, the heater, the, in the refrigerator, you mean? The refrigerator, just yeah. the refrigerator. While you're traveling? Yeah, it won't be on anyway. Yeah, okay. it won't be on. Okay, gotcha. Um, I know we had hot water. They got a shower. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's good. I just didn't think about it. Well, you can leave that. <laughs> uh, just, just don't go with it. One of the guys. Just, <laughs> yeah. Like, but you should have one. Yeah, I give mine away to the other guys. Yeah, we have one of the When you gave away, I'm like, why are you doing that? Um, you okay. should have one of these. Okay. Yeah. When you hook this up, you want to hook it up to the spigot. All okay. right. Then you water hose to this and the water hose to this. And Okay. If you, if you just hook this right here, it'll have to blow your water hose in. Oh, the hose is all the pressure. Oh, so you want to hook this to the speaker. Okay. Nice. A lot of campgrounds got 60, 70, 80 pound pressure. Yeah, so you can That's too much pressure going in there. So this cuts it down to 40, 50 pounds. Okay. No, oh, we got them inside there if you want. Yeah, I have to get one now because I don't want to get mine away. <laughs> yeah, we go to a primarily Army Corps of Engineer campground. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> they got power in there. Yeah, it's right like. There. <laughs> Sometimes we got power, sometimes we don't. Okay, right here is where your water, uh, electric hookup is. You got 20 40 cord. Okay. It just wraps up in there. Oh, it is plugged in. I didn't even realize it was plugged in. What a dummy.
Yeah. And they're like, AC I know, fans. I was like, how do they get AC going with what you <laughs> so, Okay. Oh, yeah, no. oh just, that's cool. You just roll it in there, huh? Just roll it up in there after you get this done. Just flip this down. Oh, that's cool. Get them posted up. Okay. Very nice. I'm going to in there. This is our heater vent right here. Okay. It gets hot so you, when you run it, so you don't want to touch it. It's right there, you got that side shower. Cool. This looks up here like this. Oh, and you put that over here. And your shower boosts up oh, right here. Oh, cool. Uh, when you winterize, make sure you get antifreeze through this system. Yeah, okay. But if you don't, this is going to freeze up and bust up. Okay. Some models, I don't know if this model does, they got cut off valves inside. I've seen some bunch of valves in there. It looks like oh. for winterizing and stuff. Yeah, I'll show you once we do that. I was looking around over there. This right here is your drain for your fresh water tank. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Cool. I thought it was like a outdoor spigot. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is. You can get water out of it. Yeah, water yeah, out of it. You have you water. water. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad has an outdoor spigot. You got one too now? Well, yeah, but we had to put the water in it. Well, he has to put water in it too. <laughs> Probably. He carries water in his tank, I think, just wash yeah. hands. So. You're on the road and you need to wash your hands somewhere. If you pull over somewhere and you want to make lunch, you need to have some water in it. Yeah. Wash your hands, go back and get that. Water. This oh, is a 12-volt uh, battery right here. It's a deep cycle battery. Okay. This switch right here, you gotta have this switch egg to get power inside. Oh yeah, this switch right there. If you set that switch off, it sets all the power off. Inside. Everything's off. Off your 12-volt system. Off 12-volt. Okay. If you if you uh, have this parked somewhere, just let it set, store it. You want to set that, that switch off. Okay, keeps the battery from going dead, honey. From going dead because oh. your carbon dioxide detector and your gas detector. Yeah, so that another one to run it down. Yeah, and yeah. they have to unhook the battery. There wasn't no way to cut it off. That's cool. But you, while you're traveling, you want that out. Okay. And what at the chem set, you want that out. Okay. So that has to be out also for it to charge from charge the alternator? Charge from the okay. alternator. Yep. Cool. You only uh, shut that off if you're storing it. Storing it up for a while. Do all these things, we've got that winterized package, so do all these things have covers that go on them, or do you have to no. worry about these ones? No, no it's just the interior. Thing. Just the interior. Okay. Yeah, that would blow off again. Um, does the winterized package also come with a um, cover for the AC? No. That up? Okay, so that's what I have to Right here is the hose. Cool. Oh, that's what you got a 10-foot of hose here, plus you got another one in your kit inside. Okay. Cool. I haven't seen any outside storage. Please come. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. I don't think your dad's got that, does he? Yeah, he does. He does? Man. His cat came off here. His cat came off here. Yeah, but he doesn't have a tray in it. Oh, I don't think that's right. Okay, these two hoses right here is your low point drains. Okay. When you get ready to winterize, you want to open these valves up. Both of them. Both of these valves here. Okay. That's your hot and cold water lines. Now you get most of the water out of the system. Okay. <coughs> I won't get it all in, but you get most of it. In. When you get done draining, make sure you shut them back off. Okay. Because when you start winterizing. Oh, yeah, the freezer right. come right in. Gotcha. Okay, right here. This is your black water valve. Okay. And this right here, down in here, is your gray water valve. Okay. You just pull them out to dump. Okay. And push them back in when you get it done. How many, how many gallons does that tank hold if you just, like, you weren't hooked up to no. I'm not for sure how much the, the tanks, the books will tell you how many okay. gallons there is. Probably could go a few days if you didn't use it a whole lot. Huh? Yep. A lot of showers and stuff. Right. Down on these here is where you. Right down on these here. Okay. Yeah, see oh, okay. The down? Uh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's where you hook your sore hose to it. Okay. On your black water valve, you want to get about two thirds full before you dump it. Two thirds, okay. You got to have water to push the solids out. If you don't, oh, the solids going to stay in the bottom tank. The then you're going to have problems. Okay. You got to monitor inside. Tells you how much you got in the tanks. I think it's two thirds full. You can dump it, not less. You can dump it, yeah. So you don't really sit at the campground with it open, just constantly you, going. You can't on the gray water valve. 
Okay. All right. So on Blackwater Valve, you want to get about two okay. thirds full. Okay. But you got to have water this. Blackwater, what does that consist? Um, that's the gray water, is this a shower? And a shower, your sink. Gray water, okay. And black water is a waste. Yeah, okay. it's just a toilet. I got you. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so you can drain the sink and everything, but you can't be draining the toilet. <laughs> 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 okay. A, a friend of ours, he had said something to that effect, and I was quite, I was like, I didn't quite get it, but okay, that's, you know, now you I got it. You, you don't want to work to flush it out, like you're yeah. stuck in the hose and anything yeah, else. Yeah, all the solids will sink at the bottom, so then when you. Open it up and yeah. the solid's gonna just, stay in the tank. Yeah, never get that yeah. stuff out of it. Yeah. yeah. The chemical breaks that stuff down, it's just sloshing around there a few days, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, on the gray water, like I said, you can, you, once you get to your hose hooked up, you can leave it open the whole time you're there. Okay. When you get ready to leave, make sure they're closed. Okay. Make sure that cap's on there. Gotcha. You can't be drained oh. down the highway. Yeah, I might get a ticket for that. That's yep, right. you will get a ticket for that. Okay, this is right here. Can you see the lights plate from the truck? We have to put a lights plate on the outside each time? Yeah, we'll, yeah we want to. Yep, we won't, be able to see it. we won't be able to see it from the truck. Huh? Oh, no, uh-uh. Okay. Um, uh, before I, we load you up, I'll have your tag on okay. back here. So. That's cool. Okay. I know that. I know. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, that's just another thing you're going to have to do before you can. Yep. <laughs> well, that's just one thing. I ain't no bad. Get on the road. Just look right there. <laughs> This opens up like this. Oh, okay, we got a little window. I had noticed that. This comes down to like this. Oh, cool. For privacy. Yeah, yeah that's nice. And while you're traveling, you can leave it up and you can see how you rear. Yeah, I like that little window. That's neat. Yeah. I think that's what. Isn't that part of the convenience package? Yep. And that's why we got the convenience package, was to get that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Cool. Step right here. Like that. Stay like that, all right? You ain't got to take it off. It's good, huh? Okay. If you want to, you can move this step over here. If you want to get up your ladder, oh, I got you. you can move your step over. It just got pins in there. You pull in pins out and move the step over. I don't see a little button out there to turn the light on. I don't know if it's the button somewhere and it turns light off. I don't have that. Right. So there's no exterior switch to turn these lights on out here? Yep. Oh, there is? No, no, no exterior. Okay. They're all from inside here. Okay. okay. This is the wiring horn segment. He's got pulling in the truck. Oh, okay. So for the plug plug in for the gun. Oh, okay. This is a remote control for your jacks. <laughs> on your jacks, got the button right here. Uh -huh. Push that button on there, that light comes on. Okay. Push that light's on. Oh my God. Oh. This raises it, this lowers it. Okay. This right here does all four at the same time, or you can do it individually. Okay, that raises it. Uh, that oh. lowers it. So it doesn't have levels on it anywhere? No. Okay. Okay. If you put levelers on it, you got to have it level first before you put your level right. Right. Yeah, we... on a level spot. You know? I don't guess you don't really need them. Just some eyeball yeah. on them. Yeah. Mm. Or you can take just a regular. water or something. You can take a level and put it on the yeah. floor here. True. Yeah, the regular one. And uh, do that. When you're done with your jacks, make sure you shut that switch off. Okay. It's on a timer. Oh, it is it shut off? Yeah, it's shut off about three, four minutes. Okay. If you don't shut it off, there could be another line that's next to you. I think if he's jacking your stuff up. He's working his jacks, he's going to work your I jacks. I figured that's what it was all about, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you make sure when you're done with your jacks, <laughs> shut that off. <laughs> Even though it goes off in three or four minutes. Right. Just in case somebody's not yep. there. Yeah. If he comes in, he can yeah. start making yours go, yeah? He could, uh, <laughs> yeah, he could raise yours. You have a lot of fun with that thing, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, but it cuts off like 34 minutes, I like to say. Yeah, but, yeah, but if you, you somebody starts back. playing with it. Well, it's, it's still off, though. You get to reset uh, it, probably. Uh, but still, if they were in it, then two or three minutes, then it's going to reset. So we done? It's supposed to be pre-wired for a radio and stuff. I want to know where the wires are at for that. Uh, they said it was pre-wired for the radio. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where do they put that at? Where would the wires be at for that? Oh, we'll just cover off right here. Oh, well, it comes off and it's there. That panel comes off, so yeah. screws in there. Oh, great. <coughs> so you put the radio right here? The radio goes right in oh, here. Oh, great. That's a good question. Okay. Before you cut this, yeah. for your radio, pull this panel away. Make sure you ain't got Make sure all your wires are out of the way right. before you cut it. Okay. <coughs> if you don't, you'll have to cut the wires. Yeah. You got your speaker wires in here, hot wire for your radio, and it's got your antenna wire in there oh, too. Oh, cool. Everything's right inside this Great. panel here. Right back here. You got a 110 outlet right there. Yeah. You got a 12 volt adapter there if you have a 12 volt TV. Gotcha. Right there. Okay. Okay. You got a strap in there for your TV. Okay. You got this little switch right here. Yeah, the switch. antenna. Yeah, See that switch right there? Yeah. It's got a booster on the antenna. Oh, okay, cool. If you can't get the station good, you hit that. And uh, if you can't get a good station, you hit that and give you a little more. Idea. Give you more boost. Cool. That works for, works for radio too? Same antenna no. works for radio, different no. antenna? You got a different uh, antenna for radio. Okay. And then a different antenna for your TV. Oh. When you're not using your TV, make sure you shut that switch off on the booster. Okay. Because they draw all current, right? Yeah. Oh, they don't need a booster on one, yeah, just killing power for nothing. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, it doesn't have, like, a lazy Susie or anything in there. Like no. a tray? We thought it had yeah. a tray or something. You just your door, you can turn, you turn, just, the, TV turn the TV around a little bit either way. Yep. Mm -hmm. I guess you shouldn't put on one of those rolling things. It might be moving all around there, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't want anything underneath, really. Uh -huh. Gotcha. That works. Just, just turn it. Just manually turn it? Yeah. Okay, back here in the back, all the way from this wall here. Yeah, I've seen that. It's like a, uh, it's a carbon dioxide detector. Okay. You got a button on there to push it to make sure it's working. Right. Okay. When it's clear, it's green. Okay. When it has carbon dioxide in here, she'll go to red and she'll start beeping. Okay. Okay. And you get some air in here then. Yep. That light's right there, that 12 volt. Well, these all, all these lights here are 12 volt. Okay. This right here. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's red air right there. Yeah. If you got a, it's emergency exit if you had to get out. Okay. You okay. Sure you can get rid of it. Oh, cool. Get right in. Make sure that's closed yeah. and tight before you travel. All right. Make sure. Vents are all closed. All closed, don't want them out there. You don't want to travel with them vents open because okay. the wind can break them off. Same with that one over there. Gotcha. And one in the bathroom. Is that the fan in that one? The one has got like a... That's got the fan in it. Yeah, the fan in yeah. I'll show you how that works in there. When we get to it. <laughs> got some cabinets there. You already got your speakers in here. Okay, cool. You have two there. And... There's two there, yeah. Two right there. Cool. Good. Uh, got your cabinets over there. Okay. This right here. That's your monitor panel. Okay. Tell so how much fresh water you got, how much holding water you got, how much gray water you got, how charge the battery is. Okay, what is the holding water? That's the um the black water? The, no. the holding water is your black water. Okay. The holding water is black water? Yeah. yeah, the holding is your black. Oh, okay. okay. Gray is gray is from your sink in the shower. Is that a separate tank for that too, for the gray water, if you don't want to run it out in the ground? Uh, is there a separate tank you can run the gray water into? Yeah. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah, you don't the gray water tank. Oh. And, and the gray water tank is that little valve that you got to pull up. Okay. The black water valve, you got to pull it. Okay, I got you. Okay. Uh, you don't want to run out on the ground though. Yeah. No. Yeah, they'll they'll so get you for that. They'll yeah. throw you right out of the camp. Oh, that's yeah, the battery yeah. And this right here shows you how to charge your battery is. Cool. This right here is a 12 volt water pump. Oh, okay. Oh, the first water tank's right down underneath here. Okay. You only use that if you're pumping out of your first water tank. Right. If you're hooked up to city water, you don't use that pump. 
Okay. You're gonna use it when you pump them out of this tank here. Okay. Okay. Generator. And that cuts everything else off, all the other power. All the, the plug-in power is not working now, it's working off the generator now. Well, you'll hear a switch over. It'll switch over when it gets running good, huh? Cool. It takes about a minute or two and then it switches over. Cool. Chance to warm up a little bit. Okay. What is a bed fan? It's a fan in there and a light there. Oh, that's, cool. Oh, that's nice. It's like a <laughs> The other switch is your light. Okay. Yeah, light too. Oh, I'm still light. Yeah, right oh, look at that. <laughs> nice light. Where? Oh, yeah. This this switch. Oh yeah, it switch back over again. Yeah. Switch back over. <coughs> this is your antenna for your for, uh, for your uh, TV. Oh, it is. You crank it to the right. Okay. To bring it up. All right. Awesome. I want you all the way up. Always down like this. Uh huh. And you. You can rotate it. Oh, you can rotate it around. Cool. You get your best reception. Right, yeah, that's cool. When you get ready to bring it down, go back in our line. Make sure they're lined up. If you don't, okay. Go antenna come down for If you want to go out there and take a look at it, I got your antenna up now. You can take a look at it. Cool. Well, the other wow. antenna is for your stereo. Oh, okay, that stays up all the time, right? Yeah. You, well, you can pull it down if you want to. You can roll down. You got a little Phillips screw in there. Oh, okay. You can loosen it up and drop it down if you want. Okay. But you can leave it straight up. Yeah, I can do it up. Mm. Long, well, going under the carport. Oh, we got plenty of room, I think. Let's see. It's, it's got a spring, so it, it, yeah, it'll it, bend a little bit. Yeah, bend. I think I heard. Spring on. Oh yeah. You travel and make sure that stays. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no drive-throughs with this thing either. Turn it to the left and bring it down. Okay. Awesome. Okay, until she stops and install with it. Okay. Yeah, this is your air conditioner. It's controlled from over to this side here. Okay. Got your temperature control. And then uh, your speed over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is that for? This is a smoke detector. Oh, no, no, that, what is, is there something else that you can add with that electric thing? No, this is uh, where the warning is for the air conditioner. Oh, oh, okay. This is where it's wired into right here. Okay. Get to it, get to it. Okay. Right. Gotta get my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know how that is. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, right here. Okay. Yeah, oh, on there, yeah. yeah. When you light you up, you got to put this pilot on. Okay. Then you have to light it down on the here. Yeah. Okay. Way right back here. Yeah. <laughs> right in this area right here. What do you like? Okay, once you slip. Stick a match down there? Uh, either a match or, or one of the stick. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> when it lights, you need to turn that on there like that. Okay. It takes about a minute. Or the game on. The thermal coupling in there's gotta get hot before yeah. she'll light. Like a fire log. Once once she's lit, you can just leave one pilot at the campground. Or oh. yeah. Just leave one pilot. Oh okay. And all you gotta do off. is turn it on. Oh you ain't gotta do that every time. Okay, that's cool. When you leave the campground make sure she's completely off. Okay. If you don't, you gotta gas you might have gas leak so Yeah, you got gas leak in there. Yeah. So just make sure she completely off. Okay. So now how long does the pilot have to be on before I put a match to it? Well, as soon as you turn on oh, the pilot, you, okay. you can light it. Okay. Once she's lit, you can put your temperature up a little bit. It's going to take about a minute for it to light. According okay. to the thermal coupling in there, it's got to get hot. Okay. Okay. And then, <laughs> then once, you, once, you, once you're lit, you can leave one pilot where you have to camp for it. Alright, yeah. And then when you leave the campground, make sure she can put the off. down here like this. This is your heater right here. These doors you gotta lift up on them, bring them up. You can't pull them straight out, you gotta lift up on them. So while you're traveling, they won't come out. Yeah, yeah. Silverware thing in there, see it? Uh-uh. 
Oh, cool. You got adjustable shelves here. There's a crank, huh? For the... This is a crank for your jacks. Yeah. Like I said, if you use that crank, oh, you have to uh, unplug them for the wires. Okay. What are the pegs for? Awning? These are for your awning. Oh. You want to tie your awning down. Okay. Why do you have to put them? Why is there only two? Only two. The yeah. Side on. You don't use them on the back on it, right? You don't need them for the yeah, back. Like just for the side. Oh, okay. On the side of awning, if it's windy. Don't put it. Don't in. put it out. Okay. Because we're gonna rip, rip it off. Okay. On the bed right here, that dog again, but I'd appreciate you how to oh. bring your bed down. Cool. You gotta pull the tabletop off. Can you get up? No, you right. Just pull this off right here. Then you gotta slide there and you gotta slide here. Oh yeah. Oh, there's okay. a slide here? Yep, there's yeah. a slide inside here. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Okay. Huh? Right. Cool. Okay, this is a fantastic fan. You gotta have this vent open for it to come on. Oh. You see the speed right here? That shuts it off. That turns it on. Got a thermostat in it. Oh, yeah? What does that do? If it gets too cold in here, it'll cut yeah, off? Yeah, it'll cut off all the back. Oh. Red is warmer and blue is cooler. Oh, okay. Okay? Awesome. This right up here is a fuse up in here, so. Okay. If don't come on, check that fuse in. All right. Just a little barrel fuse. Cool. That's nice. Oh, yeah. This fan won't come on unless the vent's open. So you, ain't got, you ain't got to shut it off, you just close it, and that's all you got to do? Yeah. Well, it's best to shut it off. Oh, it's best to shut it off. Okay. But it's got a switch in there to oh. shut it off. Wow, it's damn. That's neat. Cool. So that could be kind of like a little bit of air conditioning type thing when you're out running yeah, around yeah, and you don't want to leave the AC on. But you can't have the, well yeah, you can't have, the, when you're sitting you can have, a, you don't want to go down the road with that thing open. Oh yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, we'll just sitting somewhere in a parking lot somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But that's run off your 12 volt battery though. Okay. Oh, that's the only thing it runs off of? Yeah, it's been run off for one time, it's 12 volt. Uh, as long as you get your battery charged, you're all right. Yeah. Two or three hours, four yeah. hours. Yeah, all right. Well, but after that, you want to charge your well, Okay, when, you, when your battery's dead, you can't start the generator, can you? you have to, if it's plugged into the truck, you can, right? Yep. But if the battery's dead and you ain't got no power, you can't start a generator either. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, let me show you here. Let There's an electric box right back to the corner there. Can uh -huh. you see it right there? Yeah, see so you have a black box right there? That's your transfer switch. Okay. So even though you're plugged in and... Uh, that transfer a switch when you search the generator, it transfers over to your generator. Okay. Then the generator shuts off, so you automatically transfer it back over to your electric grid. Or if not electric, it to back to your truck. If you don't have the cord plugged in, it goes back to your 12 volt system. To what now? If, 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 if you cut the generator off and you don't have the power plugged in, it goes to your generator and it goes to your truck then, right? You all need it? Yep. yep. Or your yep. battery, it pulls yep. from your truck battery or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Now, see, you got another switch back in here. Switch right back to here. Okay, I see it somewhere. That's a that's a that's a switch, so it won't run your 12 volt uh, battery off your truck down. Oh, all right now. It, it won't run it down. It won't draw off of your 12 volt. Battery. Oh, cool. That's fine. Okay, I'll kind of switch it on. Okay, that's your bathroom light. That's all your exterior lights. Oh, okay, cool. The lights out here on the side. That's your docking light. Okay, on the back. Like I said, when you're backing up, you're hooked up to your truck. Uh, them docking lights will come on. Cool. What's the difference between the docking lights and the rear lights? There's a little light right here on the side of the door. It's the rear light. <laughs> like a little porch light. Okay. Docking lights are real bright, though. Docking lights are these two big ones. Yeah, spotlights. Okay. You can have them on after your part two. If you want. Yeah, for like give you more light. Give you light. You don't need a light. Night. You don't need to have a lantern going. On the way here now. Uh, is, there's not storage underneath the here, is there? No. Okay. The storage there's in the end right there. Yeah, I seen that. It's on. That's big. Huh? Okay. I'm just. There is no outside storage. You got two vents right there. Yeah, I seen that. That's so cool. That's where your inverter is for your generator. Okay. This is your converter over mm -hmm. here. 
and your inverter's down here. What's the inverter do? Yeah. Your generator puts out 12 volt. Okay. The inverter changes it over to the 110. Oh, okay. This over here, your converter, it changes from 110 to 12 volt. Okay. That's what that inverter is. The inverter changes from 12 to 120. Okay. Cool. You'll feel uh, heat come out of there every once in a while. One of these vents are kind of it's got, a, it's got a fan on it, just like this side converter does. Okay. Cool it down. So. I thought they were heat air conditioning no, vents no, or something. Oh, no, heat vents. No, they're vents for that inverter. Okay. Cool. Cool it down. Yeah, we got a fire This is your heater right here. There's a thermostat for your heater. So there's not a heater on the AC unit? No. Okay. Your thermostat. You gotta have this switch on right here. Okay. And you set your thermostat. Okay. She it lights automatically. Just for the heat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got a little plug thing here. Nice. Oh, pull for a computer or something. I like that. Yeah. Okay, she's lit now. She'll start getting warm. Cool. <laughs> it's cold in here. <laughs> it's <you're> breaking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's starting to get warm now. Oh yeah. Okay. When you shut your thermostat down, shut it all the way down. Shut this switch off. Oh yeah. Okay. If you don't shut that switch off, the temperature's all the way down. Come on. So kick on. Burn the gas down. Burn the gas down. Gotcha. Yeah, these is, cabinets up here. Is that also one of those things that switches from electric to gas or whatever? No, that just runs off the gas volt. Oh, that's it. And your yeah. blows run off your 12 volt. Yeah, it's like our other one. Okay. <coughs> this, this comes down to our bunk. You got your mattresses here. That rod up there is for your own awning. Okay. Sure how that works. You bring this down. You unhook it right there and you unhook it right there. It comes down here. Okay. And the strap right here, you can hook up right there, there's a hook That's what I was looking for, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's so cool. And you win this, just pull that to a tab out, and yeah. you can open them up right there. Well, you'd line it first, so you don't want to do it. Yeah, I'm not going with that, that's okay. <laughs> do you want me to test it? <laughs> you can if you want. That's okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. You gotta go the other way. There you go. Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah. That opens up like that. Oh, okay. Make sure she's locked in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. You put the air in, and I'll put that way up. And that lets water in. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's water in. And then, when you want to dump it, pour all the way to it. Oh, you get two thirds full before you dump this. Okay. Head in here. Where your toilet tissue goes. Oh, cool. You got two valves in there for your outside shower. Oh, okay. You got a valve right here and one on the other line. That's yeah, so the winter rising, you cut them off? Well, you can shut them off too if you want. Okay. You can shut them off if you want. But you, you, uh, should you, put, you put the man freezer there, shouldn't you? You should Better, put it in yeah. the freezer. Yeah. Right, I got then it. Then you be sure that yeah. they can freeze up. They'll freeze up on so what if you're what if you're using it in the winter time? What would you do? Um, just not use the water part of it if you were going to go camping somewhere you needed to use it. Well, if I was you, I would shut shut these off for the outside shower. You wouldn't want that being on. I wouldn't want that, and just open your valves, make sure all the water's out. Just just not use the water. Not use the water on. Water the bathroom. Use the water. At, you can use as long as you got heat in here. You can use water in. Okay, there. as long as you got in the campground, you can put water in it and then yeah. drain it before you leave to go yeah. home. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You don't use the outside water. Yeah, you want to save that off in the winter. And as long as, if you got water, if you got hot water in your hot, uh, water in your hot water heater, yeah, it kind of keeps it low heat. It, keep, it keeps it uh, warm in there anyhow. Okay. When the temperature goes down, she'll keep on automatic. Yeah. Okay. Your medicine cabinet here. You got your covers over here. Another fan. No, no, it's just a vent right there. Okay. This is your light switch right here for your bed. Okay. That's just a, a skylight, huh? 
Oh, it's wow. got like that there. Okay. <laughs> you know, if you got a seal on here right here, okay. it's kind of hard to close that door you. And that's what that sure. seal is in the water. Okay. okay, this is a starter kit right here. Okay. That you, I showed you the gas detector it works. I think carbon dioxide and how they work. We've done a gas test on all these here things. What the gas test? Be sure they had no gas leaks. You got a one ten out light right here. Okay. It's a GFI, so if you don't have no power inside here, check that little button. Yeah. Make sure it's an kick on you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you need me. You don't need me, right? No. Uh, you got a fire extension right down there. Okay. I need to get that. I think you would think that they were not. You probably stand as pushes up. You probably stand as pushes up. This is just for you leaking. Oh, okay. Push that button in. Okay. It's going on up right here. Oh, that's very cool. That's what you made a job in. Huh? That's what you made a job. That's your real one. Yeah, you got a long arm in there. That's basically it. Oh. Put around maybe 60, 70 pound pressure. And airbags? Yeah. Airbags. They'll show you more about that. They both pump up evenly, right? They just, or is it uh, separate? Separate. Oh, yeah? Separate. Uh, there's two, uh, two air. places where you put the air in. Okay. They'll be together, so he'll show you one. Okay. On the airbags, no more than 100 pounds. All right. No less than five. No less than you five. You dump them, yeah. you got to have at least five pounds in you. Okay. If you don't have five pounds in this, you're gonna bust your uh, bags. Bags. Eight. So what if you don't? Um, they won't leak down, will they? They ain't no. supposed to. Okay. So so what if you um, don't don't drain them down? Is that gonna be a real rough ride on the It's truck? gonna be a rough ride unless yeah. you dump, dump some of the air out a little bit. Anyway, yeah. But you got uh, no less than five pounds and no more than hundred pounds. Okay. Yeah. He'll tell you more about that when he loads it. Okay. Okay. When we load it. Pretty easy to load with these jacks, ain't it? Makes a lot of difference, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Just the one we had, you had to crank over and crank them all up. And yeah. Just yeah. Wore us out. Okay. And we didn't have it just perfectly even. You couldn't get it in. I had a flare side and at 150, it would barely fit in there, the one we had. That was a pain. When you set this up down on the ground, try to get as low as you can. The lower you are, the yeah. better you are. Well, why is that? Just because you, um, more stabilized. Stabilized, right. Yes. The wind can't get into it. Yeah. Um, when you burn it down, just make sure you don't hit the step here. What would you do with like a hurricane that's coming or something? Would you, would you try to, this thing would be pretty good in the wind, or should you put it on the truck if a storm was coming? I think if a storm was coming out there, I'd put it on the truck and tie it down. Tie it down. Yeah. And then if you could leave, yeah, if it gets if, too bad. If you're staying there, I'd put the jacks down, yeah. give you more support. Oh, on the truck too, yeah. On the truck. Right, yeah. gotcha. That makes sense. Um, just make sure when you drop it down, that you don't hit your step here. Right, always fold that up, I guess, in that way. Yeah. And wash your exhaust for you. Okay. For your yeah. general. Probably get hot after a while. You run it for a while. And if you will. Uh, yeah, that gets that get hot. Exhaust pipe. Yeah, right. Your pipe gets hot. Yeah. Oh. If you run generator, yeah. yeah. To, uh, yeah. Uh, best to have boards or something underneath your pods here for you. Yeah, we got some boards like that. That's a good idea. It's pretty. Neat. You keep any oil spray on those things, to keep them from rusting or anything like that. Uh, I mean, outside. You could put the. Um, some kind of spray. Look at that C56, it's real light old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I did in my other one. I keep it looking new because it's not rusting after a while. You know. yeah. Or silicone spray. Silicone spray. Even yeah. when this is sitting on the concrete, we should have the little boards under it? Uh, you should. Yeah, I mean, okay. If it's concrete, it's solid concrete, you're all right. But okay. on stones or something like this or dirt or something like yeah. that, it's best okay. to have boards on We got a carport to keep it under for the dog. Yeah, Yes, it's uh, a lot of weight in it. Yeah, uh, when, when you're storing it. 
just put it down as close as you can to it. Yeah. Try to keep it level. Okay. Yeah. You can't, when you're working your jacks, you want to put it well level. If, if you let the front down too far, you know, it might, have, might fall over on your top edge. Yep. Yeah. Or you can't have them leave it to one side or the other. Right. So you just kind of kind of watch when you run your jacks. Mm -hmm. That you make sure they're all. Make sure they're all going up and down, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And can you stand pretty much anywhere and run them? Yep. Uh -huh. I think around some... 30 feet. I think. Oh yeah, really? That's far. Yeah. Wow. I think around 30 feet you can uh, go. run. The guys, one day was playing a trick on me. He was in the office and I was in the shop with one. He was running the jacks on me. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't figure out why, why he was going up and down. <laughs> yeah, he was playing with. <laughs> That's basically it. So, so what is in that little box over there again? This, this right here. Yeah, I don't remember what it is. That's, that's, that's where you uh, dump uh, them. Dump guys, okay. Cause there's, no, there's no really no storage on the outside then. Like, so yeah, there's no storage. You got a storage on top, I guess. All those little boxes of stuff. But what we'll do is we'll put them in baskets or right. boxes. And when we travel, we'll store them in the... Yeah. Just remember, the big one here is your black water valve. Okay, it's the black water huh? And your gray water is your valve over here. Little knob, gray knob. Little knob right here. Just pick okay. up on it here, okay? Okay. Push down to close it. Okay, just pick up on it. Okay, is that open now? Um, let me see. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's open, open now. Okay, it's open now. I got you. Okay, now it's closed. So y'all gonna close everything up before you leave? Before you leave, make sure they're closed and you got your cap on them. Okay. Because the law will get you if you dump them on them. Okay, got you. So we go through the we go through the um, Bay Bridge Tunnel. We're gonna have to cut them gas tanks off. They're gonna make it stop. Know if, I don't know how they do that now. I'm not for sure. So a lot of times they tell you if you, gotta, to, if you got you gas, to you gotta stop, and, and they'll ask you if it's off or whatever. Yeah, they yeah. got more strength. <laughs> I don't know what they do now. I've been through the tunnel a long time. So. They always say if you got a bottle of gas, you gotta stop for inspections. So I guess you gotta stop on two tanks. On. Yeah. I know when I lived in Baltimore. Yeah. This was years ago. When I go through the Harbor Tunnel. They took your propane tanks off. Yeah, that's what they did. That's what they do around there. Because I had my other little, I only got one tank on. They made me shut it off. But yeah. well, they stopped me asking, so you tank off. I said, yeah. It's all right, you go on it. Yeah, if you, if you happen to have, if you go through the tunnel, you got, got your uh, refrigerator on gas, just put your uh, refrigerator as a battery. Okay. Yeah. Well, once, if you're not going a long distance, once you've got it cold, it cold it. Man. It'll stay cold for a little while. You can cut it off for a few minutes, then get yeah. back in there. If you get across the tunnel, yep. cut it back on if you want to. Yeah. And that thing automatically fires off again when you turn that switch. Yeah. That's so cool. This is one set of keys. Okay. And they'll give you another set of keys when you do the paperwork. Yeah. That's actually that good. And I put uh, maybe 15 gallon of water in it with some pine salt. Oh, yeah, pine salt works good. Put something in there. And when I'm traveling, traveling you clean that thing for you. Flush it right. That's what I was thinking. When I get home, I dump it. Dump the pine salt right in the yard. It won't hurt nothing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's the way I keep keep my clean. Um, that's what we'll do then. How would you get 15 gallons in there? You just have to run it. No, you can take Just run that little, pull that little valve up and just let it run for a while? Yeah, just open it up. Mm -hmm. Got you. Watch your little gauge and see how much you got in there, huh? Yeah, cool. what if you're camping and you don't get two-thirds of a tank of water? Just fill it up with some more water. Just fill it up. Okay. <laughs> Just fill it up. Gotcha. But you got to have water in there to push the solids in. Right, right. If you don't put the solids in. Because I'm like, I've told him, gonna I It's going to kick up in there for you. And then you'll have a problem. Yeah. Then okay. you'll have your tank pull off. Yeah, you have to pull the tank off. That's a pain, I bet you. Yep, yeah, it is. Gotcha. How, how much stuff do you can put on top? Is it, people put, um, what do you usually put up there? Like what? Well, you got some, you can put uh, store stuff up there if you want. Some what? Store? You can store stuff up there if you want. What, what you if you want to on your roof, but the best thing to do is stay off the roof as much as possible. But you don't want to be sitting out there with a race or nothing like that, probably not very good. Well, I've heard that people has done yeah, it. Yeah, just don't want to be walking around for too yeah, much, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of keep still up there. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to go to Daytona with his buddies and get up there, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> They might be too drunk together anyway, then. Yeah. Where are you from? From Chesapeake. Chesapeake. Yeah, I was going to say Virginia Beach because everybody knows it's so much better, but we live in Chesapeake.